So the way that we can find these, so unfortunately, the sculpting brush presets are not in the asset browser, but all you have to do is go into the um, main Maxon website, under support, we then have this downloads option. And if we go to learn more under Cinema 4D 24, we have um, the sculpt brushes drop down. And then you just have to um, download this, this file, which then gives you this um, .lib4d file. And all you have to do is put this in your 24 library browser and then just restart Cinema 4D. And then you have access to the sculpt brush presets uh, inside of um, Cinema 4D sculpting tools. We're then going to hit subdivide uh, quite a few times. And the important thing to note, the more you subdivide your mesh, the kind of um, cleaner and clearer your kind of um, sculpting is going to be on this. I'm just going to go back to our shading. And now we can start to use some of our um, sculpt preset brushes. So if I just hit draw under my settings, here is where we can load our brush presets. So once you've you know, downloaded your um, lib 40 file off of uh, maxon.net and then put it into your um, Maxon Cinema 4D um, library browser folder, you should then be able to just hit load and have access to those presets. There's a whole bunch of different ones, you know, you've got cracks, you've got like different types of like animal skins and stuff like that. I'm just going to stick to sort of putting some cracks on, on our text. So I'm going to grab cracks 03. And once we've done that, under this stamp tab, it's going to automatically then load that one for you. And the only other thing you're going to want to do ideally is check this use fall off. And if we watch this little uh, uh, display preview here, it's just going to kind of blend those outside areas so you don't so you don't see kind of like the circle brush mark so that's going to help you out so if i just come in here i'm just going to do this um on this x and i'm just going to click and hold and i'm going to start to draw and basically we're just drawing these cracks onto our text 